We'll start off with the pretty basic React application that for right now only has client-side code. Next, we'll initialize a new Amplify project by running Amplify init. Here, we'll set the project name as well as other base configuration. If you don't yet have an AWS profile, first run Amplify Configure to set one up. Next, we'll add our authentication feature by running Amplify Add Auth. Next, we'll install AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify React. Now we'll open the project in our text editor and go to index.js. Here, we'll import Amplify from AWS Amplify, the config from the AWS exports generated by the CLI, and then call amplify.configure passing in the config. Next, in app.js, we'll add authentication. Here, we'll import the with authenticator higher order component from AWS Amplify React and change the default export to be the with authenticator, passing in the app component as the first argument and an object with include greetings set to true as the second argument. Next, I'll go to GitHub and create a new repository for this project. Back in the project, we'll initialize a Git repository, add the changes, and then push them up. Next, we'll open the AWS console and search for AWS Amplify. Here, we'll click Get Started to deploy a new project. Next, we'll select GitHub as the Git provider and choose Continue. Here, we can choose the Git repository that we just created and the master branch within that repository. Here, you can choose to either deploy the front end only or the front end and the back end using either an existing or a new environment. Let's go ahead and create a new environment called prod. You can choose an existing service role if you have one created or you can click create new role to create a new role. Here we can accept all of the defaults by clicking next permissions, next tags, next review, and then giving the role a name. Back in the console, the new role should show up when we click the Refresh button. To deploy this app, we can now click Save and Deploy. If the deployment is successful, we should see four green check marks as well as a screenshot of our application. We can click on the URL to launch the app. Here, I'll go ahead and create a new account and then sign in.
Once signed in, we should see our original application. 